Hello, hello, hello. My name is JJ. This is uh, Data Studio VIMP. We're going to be talking about stuff. I hope you have some coffee and a blue sippy cup because I do. And we are going to talk about uh, Data Studio Regex and all the things um, within using Regex inside of Data Studio. Whew, that was a mouth, mouthful. Uh, first things first, though, make sure you download the Data Studio cheat sheet. This is seven uh, structured seven tips for you to follow whenever you hit publish on your next report, just to make sure things are actionable and built to last within your organization. So now we're just going to hop right into it. So first thing we are going to talk about is what in the world is regex, right? So um, inside of Data Studio, we have the access to a field that is called a regex. Um, regex is a super powerful thing that mostly is used in like coding and development. But what we're going to do is we are going to use this for data visualization and grouping things together in a way that us non coders can do. So here are the four different functions, right? Functions is used very loosely, um, within data studio that we can use to then, um, create a new field within data studio. So. We have regex contains, regex extract, regex match, regex replace. These do four different things. Um, and it's pretty simple to like understand it contains, if it contains that value, then it's true. If it does not, it's false. Extract, you're removing something out of a string. Match means uh, if it matches, it's gonna be true. If it does not match, it'll be false. And replace, which equals, um, Whatever, you, whatever it finds in that string, it'll then replace. But before we hop into these four, I wanna show you some basics of a data studio. I mean, of <laughs> regex, geez, it's been a long day. So the first thing you know is a regex is a string finder filterer, regex. Basically it stands for regular expression, which is a uh, shorthand for selecting things in a templatized manner. I'm sure there's a better explanation of that, but that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna give you some hacks that make sense to me, and then we'll just go from there. So a period means anything. So anything can be in this spot, right? If it's an A, matches. If it's a nine, matches. Hyphen also matches. I think you're getting the trend. The star means the previous thing repeats infinitely. So, Pop quiz time, dot star. What does that mean? It means literally anything. So dot star is, it matches anything, numbers, hyphens, capitals, lower cases, all that jazz. Uh, this is like a, again, expression together. So A to Z, lowercase, capital A to Z. Um, star means it will match any um, letters, capital or lowercase. These uh, little bracket things here, um, basically say that within this, you can use zero to nine, which will be any number, right? Zero to nine, you can use five to nine, et cetera. It kind of, it allows you to group things, to not group things, to look for a string within those qualifications. Here, using that same exact ideology, we then have this and number, and uh, we have this, which is uh, the parentheses, which groups things together. The group I learned way too late, too shame to admit it as far as in my Data Studio journey, um, but it's super, super helpful. What it means is that within Data Studio, if you want to replace something, what you can do is put that in parentheses and it will re just uh, replace just that or just um, select that thing. So super, super helpful. I'll, I'll give you some examples of that. And then my personal favorite is the double backslash which means back off code, this means literally the next thing. Because what you run into with regex is the fact that dots and periods, all that stuff, if you're ever looking for a period, like a period means something within this language. So if you wanna say something literal, you have to put these two backslashes and then a period. I know, extra work for no reason. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a real world example. So here is the uh, website traffic. Um, from our GA4 account for the absolutely booming number of traffic over at datastudio.vip. Um, and what we're gonna do is look at this and say, hey, hold up, there's a question mark right here, which is not helpful, right? So if you see all these question marks, right, you're like, that's fragmenting our data because it's actually the same thing, right? A not um, The cheat sheet here 
exactly the same thing as the cheat sheet here. So our 65 users should be a lot more. What we're gonna use is my personal favorite hack of regex is using regex to play, replace and replacing it with nothing. Because usually, nine times out of 10, it's easier to select something than select the inverse of that. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here, what we're gonna do is we are going to move my head out of the way and we're gonna create a new field within this table. And that new field I'm just gonna create at the actual chart level. We're gonna create a field, we're gonna drop into this a formula and we're gonna type in regex p, which is the uh, oh, regex, um, and we're gonna do regex replace. So once you pull that up, you have three fields to utilize. Field one is what you're looking for, right? We're looking at the full page URL here. Number two, is the actual regex, which is in single quotes. And number three is your actual, um, what you're replacing it with. So you can replace it with um, code. We're, we're gonna use it simple because I like to keep things very simple. So here we're looking at our full page URL, comma, single quotes. Now we need our regex. So here uh, I'm gonna look for a question mark dot star. What we're looking for is a question mark, which is um, actually a regex handler, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, and then anything that repeats after that. So what I'm gonna actually do is add in our double the quotes, which means I'm looking for an actual question mark. And then we're gonna add a comma, and then we're gonna replace it with nothing. Which, see how it's like way, it'd be a lot more confusing, at least in my mind, is trying to select just the main part of the URL because there's, so many different paths and different slashes and hyphens, you don't know what's there. But if we just look for this and everything after it, super simple, right? So then we can type in here, full page URL clean. And what you should see here is number nine right there, boom, no longer has that. So now if we get rid of the first one, so let's look up, oopsies. Let's look at here and we have the, let's just look at cheat sheet, number seven, right, 65 total users. Now, if we got rid of this one, so now remember, we're removing all that fragmented information. We actually had 147 visitors to that cheat sheet, but they were fragmented by all those different parameters that were attached. So that's my personal favorite, and I use this for so many different things. For example, if you're trying to remove a last name, like it's much more easy to remove the last name than just select the first name, in my personal opinion. So I hope that makes sense. So now we're gonna look, look, look at the opposite. So we're gonna do the same exact thing um, using a different function. So now let me just put back our full page URL and I'll show you the inverse of this, which is gonna be regex extract. So if I go in here and create a new field, regex, oh, I'm gonna call this um, clean page 2.0 regex Extract. So regex extract, very similar. Now we only have access to two fields. So the first one is gonna be where we wanna access our page. And the second one is gonna be the regex. So here, full page URL, comma, single quotes. And what we're gonna look for is we wanna look for anything, dot star. This time we're looking for that until a question mark, right? And so here, we're gonna put our slashes, doot doot, question mark, bop. And now, we're gonna hit apply and pray to the Data Studio gods that it works. And it did not. Why did it not work? That's why I like doing the other, th other ways. So question mark. So it should select anything until that. Oh, I might have to put this in the little um, parentheses. Let me hit apply and again, Remember, we've got to pray those data studio gods. Okay, cool. So here, what you can see is that we just took this and it's bringing us back everything in those parentheses. Remember, everything in this is grouped together and that's what we're returning. So now the problem lies is that we have this question mark. And so sometimes it's gonna return it and sometimes it won't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything in there. I'm gonna move this out and put our question mark right there. Now, what you'll see is that we, it works. Now we don't have that question mark selected in our clean page. New problem is, is if it doesn't end with a question mark, now we've got a problem. So 
that is the main reason I usually like to replace the thing I it can select and then not use that because it can just get really, really unruly where you're trying like, okay, now it's going to be a question mark or it's going to be a, um, a dollar sign, which is going to be the end. So I'm not going to hop into it, but I just wanted to show you that this is the inverse of that and it's super, super helpful. The last thing I wanted to show you is are a few tools because frankly, it's a lot and regex is a lot. So what my personal favorite thing is to do is you go into your data studio report or whatever you're looking at, you hit it in view mode, you then select the thing you're looking for like this, and then you can paste it into this thing, a regex 101. Whoever made this, God sent. So here, for example, we put in our cheat sheet, thank you. And then I wanna insert my regular expression. So I'll put dot star, right? Selected everything. It tells us dot star dot matches any character except for align terminators and star matches previous token between zero and unlimited. So you can see that this actually is selecting the whole entire string. So now say for example, we wanted to select just the word think. Boom, that worked. And so maybe we just wanted to select the letter A. So this is kind of where things get complicated is now we've got A in tons of different places. So here, what we can do is group those A's together and then say any A that's followed by an S. And now you have right here, we just looked at that. So super, super helpful term tool. There are a bajillion other regex users. Um, this is why I personally pay developers because I don't want to be the person that is out here trying to finesse the different regex to make it work, but I know enough to get by within Data Studio because frankly, that's all that matters. So I hope this has been at least a little bit helpful, but uh, using regex within Data Studio can take your reports to the next level. So otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope this was at least a little bit helpful.